Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 255, NASDAQ down 30, S&P's off 22, gold, gold contract at $19.50 trading at $2,056 an ounce. We have silver up 62 cents. $26.30 an ounce, light sweet crude, flat, $68.52 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up 17 ticks, trading 116.14. The 30-year, up a tick at 131.29, and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 41 ticks, trading 101.384. The Euro is at 110. The Yen is at 134, and the British Pound is at 125 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Well, I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. So let's get into the futures first because we know inside the futures, when I was just doing that update, you got up the spike that was up there intraday, has high volume, and yeah, it's gonna go after it, man. So look at this, look at this bar. So you can see the spike we had intraday. That that spike got us to 4097. Okay, you had contract volume out there of 43,000 contracts. Well, right now my phone went dead, so that's not good for my 10 minute charts. Well, one second here. Well, okay, see it? We got a minute. But you can see the expansion again. This thing wants to run up to the top, and we'll see what it's going to do when it's at the top of this range. You know, you can see the expansion of volume already uh, on this bar also. NQs. Now, the NQs. That did have divergence inside the NQs because the NQs didn't, the, the bar that was down versus the bar that was up had actually more volume. NQs, yeah, it's, you, we got an expansion there too. This next bar is going to be really important. And the NQs, you know, what you have here is that that's going to be the 13,131. And that, <laughs> that, that was quite a, move this morning and that's going to be quite a move again right? you know we'll see whether it's going to get to it see the difference was if you're bisecting and dissecting this volume uh how i do time and price well, well volume and price folks you see the bar that came down that was a heavy bar man that that's the difference here between the ndx and the three and the s p you know because we came down there with a uh, hundred and twelve thousand nine hundred and then we went up with only 8,600, whereas the S&P was in harmony. And what harmony means specifically is that when it did go up, it had the volume on the way up. When the S&P pulled back, it would pull back with light volume. So we'll see who's going to win this out. Gold. Take a look at the gold contract. You get gold contract, 296,000 contracts. So now what's happening in the gold market is that you actually have another ABC structure on the way up. I had this number before I got on the air. It's a big one, too, man. Yeah. Now, we made it to 2085. That was overnight, folks, okay? But the bottom line is you got volume in this, man. And this is, this is going to be, I'll get you those numbers as soon as we come back. This is going to be a big move, man. That's the bottom line. And so, you know, you can see what we did. We took out the, the high that was generated out here at 2063. In 2085, we get way over the volume. The volume with, that we were trying to take it out was a couple hundred thousand, even if I get the day the day after it, which is the biggest, which is 260. We're already at 296. So that's saying that thing wants to go. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. What we have in the note and bond market is that the 10-year note still going higher, and we have volume behind the move. Now, this could turn into an ABC structure on the way up, and that would be a total mind blower. But the bottom line is that you're coming to the top of the range again. The top of the range is 117.01. Now, we hit 117. You do have volume behind the move. And right now, the 10-year is at 3.3. Now, just so you can get some context on this, 
that the high for the last three months is four. So we're down seven tenths of one percent in three months. Let's go look at this on, I'm just curious, six months. So six months. Yeah, see, this is cool. In six months, folks, you're down almost one full percentage point. 4.2 is the high, and we're at 3.3. Now, you do a year, it's going to be a different ball game. Yeah, you can see the year is a different ball game. But look at this. This gets interesting that even a year ago, it's 2.5. Well, when you do 2.5 to 3.3, you're at only 7 tenths of 1%, 8 tenths of 1%. That's not, that's not a lot. That's not a big number, man. That's just not a big number. Some of the high volume equities that we have out here today, you have. Uh, Advanced Micro, <laughs> that's funny. It was down seven bucks yesterday. It's up five today. Okay, here we go. You got uh, the banks are getting smoked again. First Horizon, that's a TD uh, bank. They decided they're not going to basically merge with First Horizon. That's losing 30, 33%. It's down five bucks. You got PacWest off two bucks. I got uh, Western Alliance getting smoked. That's down 40%. That's down $10. Uh, let's go to Apple. Apple uh, coming out with numbers. Now, what Apple does, Apple comes out when the market's not open. They come out at 4.30. So Apple is going to be looking to take to their, bo their top line uh, $92.6 billion to the bottom line $1.43. And let's see what this baby looks like. So put this on a weekly or a monthly. Let's see what we're going to do here first. Okay, so you're coming up to the. Put this on a monthly. Yeah, this, this is not in great shape, man. Yeah, I, I don't think Apple's going to come come through what people are looking for. I think their service revenue is going to be up, but this is. The, the last the last time we had any volume on the way up, it's not that bad. Well, it's actually at 165. It's kind of where it was. You know, it, the last month, the volume dropped off dramatically. You know, this thing should be banging out something like $2 billion on a month, and you only had uh, 1.5. So stay right there, folks. We'll come back with our man, Mr. Tim Ward, and we'll bisect and dissect the markets out here. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now is uh, up, up 316. NASDAQ is up 52. S&P, uh, no. NASDAQ's down, Dow's down 317. NASDAQ's down 52. S&P's off 30. We'll come right back.